Happy Bank Holiday Weekend to uh, all of my readers in the UK and to any of you anywhere else in the world who's having a bank holiday this weekend. It's a great time to get those little jobs done. Do any of you, I wonder, have a ritual before you start any job of any kind? I've been asking a number of my author friends, do they have a ritual before they start writing? And this is what they have to say. The only ritual I have before writing is I must have a cup of coffee and my breakfast in the morning. Or early in my career, I had a bunch of rituals. I used to listen to a specific song, for example, a Frank Morgan saxophone solo that I thought put me into the Harry Bosch mode. I would re I listen to that every day before starting to write. I don't even do that anymore. Um, you know, to me, it's just all about dropping into the, the creative mode and uh, and getting to work and I, uh, you know, oh, okay, here, here's a ritual. I usually finish my day in the middle of a sentence because it's so easy to finish that sentence the next day and get going. I do. Um, I'm a big, I'm big on creature comfort. I'm usually cold and so I always have my little throw, uh, like a granny lady across my shoulders. Um, I light scented candles. Um, I kind of turn the lights down low so that my focus is strictly on that computer screen. Uh, so I do, do go through a little bit of a ritual every day when I settle in um, to write. I was always very dismissive of writers who had rituals, but in fact now we work on computers, there is a kind of ritual imposed, you know, you switch the thing on, you wait for everything to appear, you find the file, that kind of thing, but no rituals beyond that. I don't have any rituals, but I, I have a routine. I don't have any superstitions about any of it, but the routine matters very much. Um, I, I have one ritual, which is that I always go and buy the same notebook uh, from Raymond's The Stationer, uh, which is the book I use to, just to note down odd lines of dialogue that occur to me or little ideas. And I should do the sensible thing, which is to go and buy like 10 of them, because one day I'll go to buy them and then I'll stop making them and that will be the end of my writing career. I, I love how so many writers have rituals. I do have one, but a lot of the time I'm writing on the hoof, I'm writing in the back of a cab, I'm writing in a, in a hotel room. I've actually finished two Roy Grace novels on long haul flights. But when I'm home, then I do have a ritual. My best writing time is six till nine in the evening. And I like to kick off my evening with a vodka martini. Made a very special way. I have to have four green olives in it. And the whole, when I put together the drink, kind of, it's a big treat for me. It's a part of the day I look forward to. And I hunker down, I put on music, could be anything, Van Morrison, Passenger, and I just get in the zone. And it's my real happy time.